welcome back to the channel, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I drop new videos. I'm just making a quick one today, y'all, because I really want to give y'all a little bit more on this two job subject. So I'm going to tell y'all the five takeaways, my five takeaways from holding down two jobs. The first one is that it's going to make you have no respect for people when they complain about being tired. It's like, bro, I go to work and this motherfucker, like, bro, you just got here. It's 4 p.m., bro, and you just got here. I've been, I've been working since 7 a.m., bro. It just amazes me, bro, how somebody can work half as much as you, bro, and still be complaining about work. And it's not like motherfuckers are like morbidly obese where putting in labor actually is a very big strain on them. These are people who are in shape, 24 years old, 25 years old. So when you start seeing shit like that, plus when you start working, cause it makes sense, bro. Like it makes sense when you only hold one job. Cause it's like, you just don't have, you don't really have this insight. And we gonna get into that uh, in, in these next few ones. Once you work two jobs, bro, and people are working half, a third, as long as you, you know? Like how you go to work, you work six fucking hours, bro. And complain about being tired after. Like what the fuck did you do for work, bro? Were you fucking sprinting? You a goddamn, you was sparring with world champions in the gym? Like, how the hell are you tired, bro, after working six hours, bro, when it's 24 hours in a fucking day? That's the first one, bro, is having two jobs will make you have no respect for people who say shit like, oh, I'm tired, tired. How the fuck you tired? Fucking lazy, bro. The next part of it, number two, is that it's gonna really show you the limits of your work. And I'm not, I, I, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. This is, this is something that I actually, uh, that I actually came across from Jordan Peterson. Working is not really something that I ever in my life learned that you should go as hard as you can with. Look at this, bro. When I was, when I first started rapping, everyone used to tell me, you need to stay in the studio, stay in the studio. And they're focusing on like the creative part of being a rapper. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not telling me I need to invest in this. I need to invest in this. It's going to cost me my weekends for my, all my teenage years, you know, things like that, bro. So people aren't really focused on like, uh, or they weren't like when I was coming up, they weren't really focused on finding the limits of your work. Sometimes people used to talk about the limits of your potential. Um, but you can't really talk about that without the connotation of work being there. But I learned from Jordan Peterson that, you know, in, in his young life, he decided to push himself to see if he actually tried, if you actually put in real effort, life or death effort, million dollars on the line effort, you know, bring your closest dead homie back effort. When you put in that kind of effort towards something, see how far it can take you, you know? And, and you know, he was saying how he wanted to see if, if he really put this life or death effort into productivity, what would be the limits of that? These bitches out here. All right, it's Halloween, so we got a couple trick-or-treaters out here. That's number two, you know, is that you're, you're gonna actually, in practice, you know, in the real world, you're gonna actually learn what the limits of your work are. I've worked 20 hour shifts, weeks at a time, off days sprinkled in there too, but I've worked shifts like that, bro, and I can't do it, bro. Like I can't work 20 fucking hours a day. So I understand, bro, that I need to cap my days off at around 16, 17, something like that. That's all I got for that one. Number two, you're gonna learn the actual limits of your work. Number three, is that you're gonna learn what your peak is when it comes to your planning. Um, like I said in the last one, y'all, it's like when you have so much time, you're able to get away with being terrible at planning. So when you have not that much time, it kind of forces you to see like how good can you really be at planning. And when it comes to, uh, like I said, I couldn't really hold down 20 hour work days, you know? Even the best planning I'm capable of, bro, would not enable me to work 20 hours, bro. I need more time than that to myself. Um, and I don't mean, you know, to myself, you know, so I could sit around and smoke and all that, even though, you know, I need a little bit of that too. But I mean, just, I mean, mostly sleep and food, bro. Like when you work 20 hour days, you don't get the sleep. Um, there'd be times, bro, where it'd be like, I get off work at like 3.30, I get home at 
I try to get to sleep by five and I got to get up at six to be at my morning job at seven, bro. So some days, bro, I will get after work in 20 hours, bro, I will come home, sleep for fucking 45 minutes, bro. And I'm back out for my 20 hour day. I can't do that, bro. I can't pull it off. I tried and I, I actually had a couple of, I actually had a couple of issues that came up. I remember out of nowhere, bro, I'm standing up at work literally just just standing there and out of nowhere my fucking tailbone just started hurting like a bitch fool i was like fuck bruh which is something that kind of surprises you because you would think like to have a pain like that like you would have to fall someone would have to pick you up and body slam the shit out you on your tailbone or something another time I'm sitting up working. I done been working for fucking 16, 17 hours at this point, And out of nowhere, my fucking balls just started hurting like shit, bro. I'm talking about blue balls times four, fool. You start having problems, bro, like that. Uh, You just can't do everything, bro. You're, you, you just can't do everything. Your body will break down, bro. You have to cooperate with it. So while trying to plan 20 hour days, and not being able to do it, it actually made me an expert at planning 16, 17 hour days, you know? Because that gives me enough time to work with so I can actually get everything done, work life and normal life. So that's number three, is you're really gonna learn what your peak is when it comes to planning. The fourth thing, which is kind of weird, this is a weird one here because being at home will kind of make you feel eerie. There's something eerie about being at home. Now, this might depend on the home. I live by myself, bro, so it's kind of eerie when I'm at home. And it, it wasn't like this when I when it, before I started working this much, you know? But now that I work so much, it's like even when I'm off work, I have this feeling like I'm doing something naughty by just sitting at home. It's kind of weird. It's like this, it's a, it's a strong feeling. It's, it's kind of comparable to like sleepiness at the, at the same time of night, you know? So you might get sleepy around the same time every fucking day. And for me, I feel like I have to work like at the same time every day. And because I have two jobs, I start one at seven, the other, you know, two, three. When I get to, you would think if I can work the seven o'clock job, then that's where the, that's where the feeling of, damn, I need to be doing something should arise is at about seven o'clock. But come on, bro, we working two jobs out here because we ain't no bitches, bro. We hustlers out here. So we holding down two of them hoes, which is kind of crazy because it's like there's there's people out there who live together, bro. And I'm like making more money than both of them combined. Like, bro, that shit wild, bro. But we hustlers on, on this side of YouTube, you know, you would think that if I can get past 7 a.m., then by the time it's time to go to my second job, that feeling would kind of wear off because I kind of already dealt with it at seven, but nope, that shit come right back, bro. Like, I feel like I need to be headed to work early as fuck, and I feel like I need to be headed to work in the middle of the day. That's something that you may not really expect from it, but when you work that much, bro, just understand we're, we're creatures of habit, and you are giving yourself certain qualities that may be good, may not be good. For me, they turn out to be fucking fantastic, but I'm not that naive. I see the flaws in that too. Number five is people will constantly ask you, what for? What's it all for? What the fuck do you spend your life year after year going to work, coming home to go to sleep and then going back to work? And it's just a fucking question that dumbass lazy people ask, bro. You're just dumb as fuck and you're just lazy, bro. What for? What do you mean, what for? For these racks, fool. What for? Nigga, for, the, for these racks, bro. For these racks, bro. Hey, y'all funny as fuck, bro. Y'all hella funny, bro. What for? It's kind of fucking simple, bro. It's for these racks, bro. That's what for. You know, just, just to get a little deeper, it's like, I don't remember if I said this on my last video or on, or on a live or something, but when people ask like, like what, what do you work so much for? And when you consider the planning that most people put into their lives, bro, it's like, when you ask what for, all you're really saying is why you work so much. You don't have any free time. You don't have any time for yourself. Let's break that down. You don't have free time. You don't have time for yourself. What are people really saying when they say that? They're saying you don't have time to sit around at home and bullshit instead of getting these racks, bro. 
You don't have time to sit, but but why you work so much? I mean, you you don't even have time to sit on the couch and watch TV. It's just a fucking question lazy fucking dumbasses are gonna fucking ask. What for? Look, bro, be a fucking hustler, bro. Work two jobs. And it's funny, bro. It's kind of weird when people be like, oh yeah, you know, I work three jobs. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. What you mean you work three jobs, bro? You mean you got two jobs and a side hustle, a job and, a, and two side hustles? How the fuck you work three jobs, my nigga? You know what I mean? Ain't that shit dumb? Yeah, because we all know what these motherfuckers are doing. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna patronize y'all by breaking that one down for you. But three jobs? Like, come on, bro. What, you working four hours part-time at each one of them motherfuckers? Five hours part-time at one of them motherfuckers? You know? They be trying to make it seem like they working 24 hours a day type shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. And I'm a young in, I'm, I'm a young kind, I'm 32. Um, I'm fit, I'm in shape. I got a strong willpower. I got a very good work ethic, bro. And I can't hold down no three fucking jobs, bro. So come on, man. Like, come on. I mean, unless them motherfuckers was goddamn five hours at each one of them motherfuckers, but that shit just sound kind of crazy to me. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Let me know what y'all think about my takeaways. If y'all got any takeaways, drop them down low in the comment section, you know? Um, follow me on IG, my IG is Sir Dancing. Y'all stay tuned, send questions in. I address everything when I go live. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you notify when I drop new videos. I'm out this motherfucker.